So the simplest version of an insert for the pocket walls is just a piece of foam. And that piece of foam can have other bits cut out of it for in the case of like an arrow slit, or it can just be a textured piece of foam if you just want to have a solid wall. There's textures included in the Castles and Catacombs manuals, so you can actually make textures that you can put and insert into your pocket walls. These can be as simple as some kind of a stone texture, or they can be windows that actually really look like windows. And when you combine the windows with light packs from the Torino Tech Manual, now you're gonna get windows that light up on their own, which is really cool. So let's get started. I think you're gonna be surprised by how simple these really are. There's four different types of inserts. There's a paper insert, like this one that's got a pre-printed texture. Then there's a paper insert with some tape on top of it to make it look like a window. Then there's foam board inserts, like uh, basically any other Trano piece. And then there's cardboard inserts. And with these four main types, you can make so many different things to insert into pocket walls that it's not even funny. And I haven't even started talking about insertable doors. That'll be another video. So we're gonna start off with the paper ones. This is the easiest and most straightforward one. You basically just print out the texture from the Trano Castles and Catacombs texture file, and you cut out the piece. And you'll notice there's like a black line there. That's where you're going to fold it so the texture will show up on both sides of your terrain wall. And then you just insert it into the wall. And the same, it's the same procedure for a single height wall. It's just going to be a smaller piece. And again, you're gonna fold it along that black line there. So there you go, now you know how to make, I don't know, 75% of the inserts for, for, for Torino Castles and Catacombs. It really is just that simple. Next up, these are gonna be more printable inserts on paper, but we're gonna add some packing tape on top of it. Now to add this packing tape, I very much recommend taping down your printout onto your work surface. Otherwise, the static cling from the packing tape can make it difficult to put the packing tape on top of the paper. So just a little bit of packing tape on each side to hold it down is a good idea. And when you put this packing tape on there, you kind of want to drape it over gently. So you kind of want to like let it go slack and then just let it sort of fall onto the paper. And I've noticed that this is the best way to keep bubbles from appearing in the tape. And don't worry about getting it on straight there. Since the tape is so thin, you'll never notice those seams when it's at the table. So you're just gently draping it over and then kind of letting the adhesive of the tape kind of guide you to put it down. And I can't recommend more highly the packing tape from Dollar Tree because it is super thin. And we want a super thin packing tape for this because that way those seams between the tape will be almost invisible. If you use high quality packing tape, you're gonna pay more and it's not gonna look as good. And then just to take uh, to get that tape off your work surface and to get the windows off, I just cut them out with a ruler. It makes it really easy to get nice clean cuts on those windows. Oh yeah, and wrap, uh, wrap the end of that tape around <laughs> before you put it away or else it's really tough to get it uh, open again. So yeah, you just cut it out the, the window pieces and in doing that, you have you make it really easy to get your uh, tape off your work surface. Just peel it off. And then once you've got it cut out, you just fold them in half just like you did for the uh, regular printouts. Now keep in mind with these windows, you can also add light packs from the Trano Tech and Torches manual, um, and then you can have these windows kind of glow, which is fun. And there you go. And to do the single height windows is exactly the same. You probably guessed that. Tape down your printout to your work service, gently drape the packing tape over the printout so you don't get bubbles. And do this all the way on the parts that are going to be your window. And just cut it out. Fold it along that black line. And voila, just made another set of windows. So 
So there might be situations where you'll find a printout in the Torino Castles and Catacombs manual, or maybe other places, who knows, I might be you know, releasing other stuff, and you may want to convert it from a double height printout to a single height printout. That's really easy to do. Basically, you just, you know, you add the packing tape to the outside if it's in the case of a window. And then we're going to use an existing single height window piece to trim it down. And once you've got the piece cut out like you normally would, you're going to take an existing single height piece that you've made and just use that to measure out the bit that you want to keep. And they're designed, all these, these printouts are designed, the double height ones are designed to be able to trim down this way and look great uh, in, in existing single height pieces. So you'll notice this wasn't specifically made for single height, but it works great in a single height piece. And you can stack these on top of each other. And there's just so many fun things you can do with these pieces. I just, I love kind of exploring those things. And then of course, there we have the regular foam board inserts. Now, it's funny, when I was making this video, I was like, well, I can show them for the 20th time how to trace stuff onto foam board. But what I'd rather show you is all the different types of things you can make from these templates. Now you'll notice there are all those notches in the middle there. Those notches show you where, if you're gonna make single height versions of these templates, that's how tall you'd wanna make those two different pieces. Here's if you wanna do a double height, you use a full height of the template. If you want to do a single height of the top part, you just start at that notch. And if you want to do the single height of the bottom part of the template, just go to the bottom of that notch. It is really that simple. Now, if you're curious about some of these textures on here, um, I've made all these using the comb techniques in the Torino Castles and Catacombs manual. Uh, I, go, I go into detail on that stuff in the manual. And last but not least, we have a cardboard piece, and that's literally just tracing the same templates you would use for foam onto cardboard. Now the cool added benefit of these is that you can stack these cardboard sheets with other things in the pocket. So you can do cool things like a framed glass with panes like this with using the needlepoint material from the Trano Taverns and Towns manual. You could also use them as an added accent or detail onto the printouts. So you can do a different shaped window by just adding this cardboard sheet on top of it. It really is, uh, there are so many possibilities with this and I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Please leave them in the comments and if you have suggestions for more inserts, I'd love to hear them. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.